Welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to make a frozen yogurt salad. Okay, this is totally delicious. Your family will love it. In fact, you can serve it for any meal of the day or any snack or after school, you name it. It gets all the check marks for being a good choice. Hi, I'm Annette Reeder, the Biblical Nutritionist, and I'm on mission because you matter. And that's just the bottom line. You matter to me because I'm, I really am concerned about your health and your longevity and your, your energy level, your vitality. But more importantly, you matter to God. He loves you. He has a purpose for you. And that's what I want you to understand. So let's get started the frozen fruit salad. I hope you are following along with these videos and you have the Healthy Treasures cookbook. We are on page um, 151 today, frozen fruit salad. Now, remember we have three things. We need protein, we need fiber, and we need delicious flavor, right? That's what matters when we eat. So protein, as you know, I'm, as I'm talking, I'm gonna go ahead and start adding the ingredients. So I'm gonna put in some yogurt. And I do not like you to buy, <laughs> I'm sounding like your mom, I do not like you to buy yogurts that have already been, been sweetened or flavored. If there's going to be any of that done, then I want you to do it yourself, okay? So to this, I'm adding some cream cheese. And you want the cream cheese soft at room temperature. Have you ever made your own cream cheese? Yeah, you're wanting a video on that, right? Well, I'm just gonna tell you now, and then you can, you, you'll have the answer. You can make your own sour cream. You can make your own cream cheese. And so I have here, this is called the Danvier Yogurt Cheese Maker. I have used this for years. In fact, the box looks pretty worn out. And this is what it looks like. You would just fill this top container up to the top with yogurt. And if you let it sit typically around 12 hours, when you take it out, you will have, in this top part, you will have sour cream. Now, if you let that sit overnight, 24 hours, you will have cream cheese. Yep, and then you make your own cream cheese. So if you're buying a really good quality yogurt and you're asking yourself, wow, I really wish I had a better quality sour cream or a better quality cream cheese, well, then my answer is make it yourself. All right, and if I had done this in the mixer bowl, this would have been done by now because cream cheese tends to not always blend real well. But I'm gonna go ahead and add just a little bit of this cream cheese that I made. And it's a lot creamier. Mixes a little bit better. Okay, to this we wanna add our sweetener. Now the recipe calls for honey, and that's what I'm gonna to use today, but I usually use stevia because it works so well in this recipe. But I'm just gonna make it like it says so you can kind of follow along. But put a note in your cookbook that stevia, monk fruit, any of your alternative sweeteners that are natural, now be careful when I say alternative sweeteners, that are natural and healthy for you would work in this recipe. So we're going to have protein in the yogurt and in the cream cheese, but we can always up it, right? We can always increase the protein. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a scoop or two of my protein powder because I have totally fallen in love with this protein powder. It's a GBX protein powder, so it's really healthy for your microbiome, and that's just really become a, really a focus of mine because all my clients, we would get certain level of health, but then we were always dealing with a gut issue. My husband's doctor was writing prescriptions faster than our hearts were beating with stress. Yet, could there be another way? Is there another answer? Well, that is when a friend suggested to me, Annette, go back into God's Word, start reading it differently, and start with the Daniel fast. Well, those words changed the trajectory of our lives. And 30 days later, we were prescription free, 35 pounds lighter, combined total, lower cholesterol, lower triglycerides, and we knew that God had answered our prayer for greater health His way. Now, if you are praying for an answer on how to get started, 
I highly recommend the Daniel Fast. First, go to the BiblicalNutritionAcademy.com website, click on the Daniel Fast, and sign up. It's that easy. Plus, the link will be in the show notes below. So, I have totally switched over to this brand because of that. All right, so I have my protein powder mixed in, and that looks good. Now we add the good stuff. Okay, so we're going to add the pineapple. And I might be adding a little bit more than what it says in the cookbook, but that's okay. It's going to be delicious. To this, I'm going to add a lot of nuts. I love nuts. Now, you could also add some cinnamon. That would be a really good touch. You could add any fruit whatsoever. I'm going to add in some, I'm going to add in two cups of blueberries. Now you can kind of hear they're kind of loud because they're already frozen, but that's okay because we're going to freeze this dish anyway. So I'm going to add in my blueberries. When I get this all mixed in together, then I'm going to add my last fruit, which is the bananas. Okay, I'm going to add in the bananas. It called for one, so I'm using two. I know, I never make the recipes the same ever more than once. They're always different. Yeah, and I'm really thinking about that cinnamon. I really should have put that in this time because that does taste really good. All right, so mixing this up. So, protein, fiber, delicious taste. Well, we know the flavor's there. We know the protein's there because we just added some. And I, I'm gonna give you a link to that down below. Another option would be this collagen protein. Very good options. Fiber, we have tons of fiber. We have the nuts, we have the fruit and we have the berries which are also really good for your digestive system all right there we go so there is our fruit salad let me share with you i just made this recently actually last night and i used this like a it's an eight by eight square pan put it in there and i took a piece out no i didn't eat it yet but i'm waiting to and then if you serve it on top of a bed of lettuce Top it off with some nuts and some fresh berries. You have the most delicious salad. Now, this could be a dessert. This could be a main course because we have the protein, the fiber, and the delicious flavor. It could be a breakfast. It could just be a salad. It could be a side salad for your meal. And <laughs> doesn't that just look beautiful? All right, so this is the frozen fruit salad. I know you're gonna make this over and over and over and over again because we love it and you're going to love it too so this way you get to use your own sweetener whatever yogurt is your favorite brand you can make your own cream cheese now that you've learned how to do that it's just going to be one of those favorites so mark up there on your cookbook definite must make and I'm Annette Reeder, the Biblical Nutritionist. I hope you've enjoyed this. Be sure and check out our website because we post all of these recipes. Because if you're like, Annette, I don't have your cookbook yet. Well, I, first I want to say, why not? We make it so simple because the links are down below. But if you don't have the recipe yet, go to the biblicalnutritionist.com website, check out the recipe there, and that way you can get making it tonight. I'm so glad you joined me here in my kitchen, and I hope you keep coming back because I have so much I want to teach you, not just cooking but nutrition and biblical health and the Bible diet and understanding how much God loves you through the entire picture of how you are created. Thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you like this. Be sure and share it with your friends, your family, everyone around the world. They all need to hear this. Thanks for watching and don't forget Facebook. We always interact there. Until next time.